Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's been a while since we've been, we've, well, we've been able to say this, can't talk all of a sudden, but I'm Dan. I'm Jake. And we're your neighborhood friendly whiskey watchers. Hey. And today we're drinking this bad boy. We're making an oath. A blood oath. A blood oath. So we hope you enjoyed your stay with Anthony and well, either of us for about the month of, I know, I know it's weird. Anthony, our friend, Tony. There you go. <laughs> That's the uh, right word. He, he gave us enough episodes to basically go through the entire month of May, but we're back. We're drinking Blood Oath today. And uh, let me see if I can, you know, get this out of the box without. Out of the box. Out of hey, for box. once, a box that didn't just fight me the whole time. Blood Oath's generally pretty good about that, if nothing else. Yeah. So this is the 10th anniversary of Blood Oath, and to celebrate that, Lux Row has released the very first double finish of our our lovely little gimmicky bourbon. I'll, I'll say gimmick until the day it proves me wrong, and I'm hoping today's that day. So this bad boy is finished in Cabernet Franc and Merlot casks, coming in at that lovely 98.6 for your face piece. Wonder what that is. Uh, well, you know, body temperature, what have you. Let me get out the, uh, lots of plastic noises here. Oh yeah, the box. There we go. And this thing can just kind of go there. Anyway. Whoosh. Oh yeah. So anyway, while I'm trying to my best to not screw this whole thing up, why don't you go down there by Jake and hit that like and subscribe button, click that notification bell, leave a comment on this video. Have you ever had Blood Oath? And if you have, what's your favorite pact? Ours is right now, or at least mine right now, is uh, probably the Calvados finish from 2022. I don't remember what my favorite is because my mouth doesn't have a memory. Anyway, pause for cork pop. That was so weird. <laughs> Cork thud, <laughs> not even a thud, cork letdown. Yeah, that was disappointing. Anyway, I hope this whiskey is not disappointing. So let's pour Bad this cork, up Bad cork, maybe bit. it's good whiskey, who knows? Here's hoping. We don't even need a freaking warm up for this one. No, 98.6 for us cowboys and cow folks that, you know, drink cast drink whiskey and all. <laughs> so anyway, looking at this bad boy, it's just a very light copper. It's nothing too, too, too special, but you can see a lot of those oils left on the glass after you give it a nice little, little swirl, a little spin a -rooney. Shout out Booker T. A little spin -a -rino. Yeah. And it does have a few legs here. DJ Spinderella. Shout out to Salt and Peppa. Oh, God. Which is their DJ's name. Spinderella, really? Spinderella, yeah. Spinderella. I, I didn't listen to much Salt and Peppa, so yeah, there Push you go. It. Anyway, let's give her the, this here nose here. Oh, that smells good. Okay. <laughs> Disappointing cork. Heavenly Disappointing nose. cork. This is a great nose. So I'm getting like chocolate vibes on this bad boy. Chocolate covered cherries, my man. Chocolate, chocolate covered, covered cherries. cherries. And Tony, when Tony or Anthony was here, yeah, Anthony, um, we had a few bonfires and when he, when he was sitting out there, he always had a cigar. Mm. And the nose kind of reminds me of one of those cigars. I don't remember which one it was. Tony, if you remember what you were smoking, put that in the comment section. We'd appreciate it because it was a really good cigar. There is, a, there is some aged tobacco on this for sure. Oh yeah. That's really nice. Smoked cherry and chocolate with some tobacco leaf. Okay, so the nose so far is something that I can get behind. I don't want to stop sniffing it. I know, but we got to. Here we go, here we go, buddy. I'm just not afraid to break these. Ooh, Ooh that was loud. Anyway, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Oh, wow. All right. Okay, Blood Oath. Okay, Lux Row. Finally hitting it. On the head. Wow. So the chocolatiness kind of comes through a little bit more on the palate. Mm -hmm. The cherry kind of goes away. The chocolatiness comes through. It makes you salivate like crazy. I know, I'm having to swallow. You're probably hearing me swallow and I'm so sorry for the ambient swallowing noises, but Do a wow. A couple of test swallows just so we can black out that. Man. So 
This thing just rings your tongue out. It layers, it coats the tongue in flavor. Oh yeah. And it's just not letting up. Um, a lot of really good dark chocolate notes. I get a little bit of oak. They told me, even though the label this year does not disclose any ages, um, like they normally do, I know at the distillery, they said something about an older aged bourbon. I believe it was around 16 years old. So that that oakiness, that, that like, not tannic, but that dark oaky cherry aspect is what I'm kind of putting toward that older aged bourbon, that potentially 16 year old mm. bourbon. Um, again, that ultra age. Yeah, the ultra aged bourbon. Again, not non-age stated product here, but which is I'm gonna I'm gonna weird. I'm gonna me. go in for one more here. Comes with a government mm. warning. <laughs> okay. Second sip isn't super overwhelming, but man, those flavors are still there. Loose lips never tasted something so special. That sounds like horrible. <laughs> that is the final word on this. Loose lips never tasted something so special. Mm -hmm. I'll say this, out of every Blood Oath I've ever tasted, I've tasted from, I've tasted three, I missed four and five, and then I've tasted six through now 10. Um, this is the best one they've done. Yeah, so it's finished in the Cabernet first and the Merlot second, apparently. Yeah. And they did a really good job on this one. So Lux Row, good on you for this one. Um, final thoughts on this and a letter grade. I think this is probably the best Blood Oath that Lux Row has ever put out. This is one of their, yeah, I'll give it that, the best um, Blood Oath they've let out. Yeah, this one definitely. Didn't... They finally made a great one. <laughs> some of them are good, some of them not. This one is great. This one's great. Um, as far as the letter grade goes, I'm I, I'm I'm right up there on a solid A on this one. Usually those sit like C plus B minus for me. This is a solid A. The proof is good. It's not super hot. It's mouth coating. The finish is long. I'm still getting a lot of those flavors on my palate, even though I haven't taken a sip in probably about a minute and a half, two minutes. This is really good. Oh man. So where are you at? I think I'm gonna give it an A minus. I taste a little bit of tannicness in it, mm -hmm. but that's only after it's a couple sips. So I mean, it's still good. Don't get me wrong. It's, there are great aspects of this. There's just one random bitter flavor that I'm getting, and it could be like dark chocolate, but it, to me, it seems more. It's good enough that I've already acidic. basically finished my glass. Yeah. It's more so, of an acidic bitterness yeah. than it is a cocoa bitterness. Yeah, it's it's really good. I so, really like this, yes. So with this one, it, are we going to put it on the shelf? No, 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 just no, just absolutely not. That is going to be a hard one to beat this year. The sad thing is, I was thinking about it. Really? Mm-hmm. Maybe we need to do an episode of Side by Side. I, I think we I think we're going to have to because... To me, I, I I remember that being King of the Hill. You know oh, this, mean? this one's delicious. The Jack Tan is delicious. But I think this gives it a run for its money this year. For me, it does. It, it's hitting all those flavor notes. The, the finish is long. The flavors are big and bold. Mm. Something I've never experienced from a Luxro Blood Oath product yeah. ever. So with that being said, I think that's going to be a review from us. I mean, yeah. You got any more? They're hard to find. Good luck. And when you do find them, generally people know what it is and they're like, Oh, let's boost that price, baby. Yeah, I paid a little bit over retail. Retail is $129.99 on this. I paid $149.99. So it's like I said, you got it at a local place that does good business. They yeah. have they have weird random things that are like way up in price. But then they have things like this that are at an okay markup. But I also wonder if that's because you're a regular. Nope. 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 That was the price on the shelf out the door for everyone. Oh, really? It was on the shelf. Yep. I'm shocked. Yep. So anyway, that's going to be a review from us. We want to thank you for joining us. Again, go down below, hit that like and subscribe button. We are oh so close to 500. I can't wait to open that William LaRue and I have the bottle chosen for the giveaway. But you're not going to find out until we hit 500. Is it that one? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be a hell of a thousand subscriber giveaway. Um, but yeah, I have it picked out. Just get us to 500, we'll let you know, and then once we hit 1,000, we'll do that random giveaway. So, 
Thank you again for joining us. And until we drink again, we want to remind you to share pour with your friends and family because just like the movies, memories don't make themselves. They don't, bub. Cheers. Cheers to all you watchers.